Hello guys, welcome to the tutorial on how to use Pabli Connect for beginners in 2024. In this video, we will go through the basics of Pabli Connect, including its pricing plans, features, and how to navigate its dashboard. By the end of this tutorial, you will have a clear understanding of whether Pabli Connect is the right tool for your automation needs, especially if you're considering switching from other tools like Zapier. You can sign up for Pabli Connect using the link in the description. When you sign up, Pabli Connect offers a free account where you get around 100 tasks per month. This free account is a great way to test the platform and make an informed decision about its usefulness for your needs. Once you log in, you'll be taken to the Pabli Connect dashboard. Here, you can see all the tasks allocated to you. For example, you might see that you have 55,000 tasks in total with 2,700 tasks already consumed, leaving you with a certain number of free tasks. It's important to understand the difference between paid and free tasks. Free tasks are actions performed by internal apps developed by Pabli Connect, which do not count against your paid tasks. On the left-hand side of the dashboard, you will see a folder section. This feature allows you to categorize all your workflows into different folders for better management. This organizational feature is quite similar to what you might find in other automation tools like Zapier. In the main dashboard area, you can see all your workflows. Clicking on any workflow will allow you to edit it. Now, let's see how to create a workflow in Pabli Connect. To create a new workflow, click on the Create New Workflow button. A pop-up window will appear, asking you to name your workflow. Choose a name that clearly describes the purpose of your workflow, as this will make it easier to manage multiple workflows later. For this tutorial, let's name our workflow New Subscriber to Google Sheets. Click Create to proceed. You will now see the workflow editor where you can set up your automation. The editor is divided into two sections, the trigger and the action. The trigger is the event that starts the workflow and the action is what happens as a result of that event. Let's start by setting up the trigger. Click on the Choose App dropdown under the trigger section. A list of popular apps will appear. For this example, let's choose MailChimp as our trigger app, as we'll be automating the process of adding new MailChimp subscribers to a Google Sheet. After selecting MailChimp, you'll need to choose the trigger event. In this case, select New Subscriber. This means that whenever a new subscriber is added to your MailChimp list, this workflow will be triggered. With the trigger set up, it's time to configure the action. Scroll down to the Action section and click on the Choose App dropdown. This time, select Google Sheets as the Action app. Next, choose the Action event. For this example, select Add Row. This means that whenever a new subscriber is added to MailChimp, a new row will be created in a specified Google Sheet. Now, click on the Save button to save your workflow. The user interface is designed to be intuitive and user-friendly, mirroring the simplicity of Zapier's interface. This makes the transition from Zapier to Pabli Connect smoother if you are already familiar with automation tools. At the top of the dashboard, you can turn on or off your workflows as needed. There is also a search function that helps you find specific workflows quickly, which is particularly useful if you have many workflows running. Next, let's go to the History section. This is where you can view the history of your workflows. If you want to see the history of a specific workflow, you can do that from the workflow page itself. Alternatively, the History section provides an overview of all the workflows and their execution history. This helps in tracking the performance and identifying any issues that might have occurred. The Settings section is where you can manage all your connections. Here, you can see all the apps connected to Pabli Connect. For instance, if you have connected Google Sheets or ActiveCampaign, these connections will be listed here. This section is crucial for managing integrations and ensuring that your workflows run smoothly. If your account has the subaccount function, you can create subaccounts for different projects or teams. This feature is particularly useful for agencies or large teams who need to manage multiple clients or departments separately. The Team Member section allows you to invite freelancers or team members to collaborate on building automations. This feature is useful for distributed teams or projects that require input from multiple people. Under API and webhooks, you can connect third-party software to Pabli Connect.
This allows for advanced integrations and more complex workflows, giving you the flexibility to automate nearly any process. In the Time Zone section, you can set your time zone, ensuring that all your workflows run according to your local time. This is particularly useful for scheduling tasks and managing workflows across different time zones. The Help section provides access to Pabbly Connect support resources. Here, you can ask questions or watch tutorial videos. Pabbly Connect has a comprehensive library of video tutorials available on their YouTube channel, which can help you learn how to build and optimize your workflows. Additionally, you can contact their support team by filling out a form if you need further assistance. There is also a Facebook group for Pabbly Connect users. This group is an excellent resource for getting help and sharing ideas. Many users post their workflows and solutions, providing inspiration and support for others. Being part of this group can help you learn new ways to implement workflows and solve automation challenges. Now, let's talk about Pabbly Connect's pricing plans. Pabbly Connect offers a lifetime deal as well as monthly pricing options. The lifetime deal starts at $249, which is a one-time fee. This plan includes 3,000 tasks every month, unlimited free internal tasks, instant webhook, unlimited premium apps, unlimited websites, formatters, re-execute workflows, shared folders, Mondra 500 Plus app integrations, and enhanced security. The Pro plan costs $499, which is a one-time fee. It includes 6,000 tasks per month. There is also an ultimate plan that costs $699 per month as a one-time fee, providing 10,000 tasks per month with all features included. One key thing to note about the lifetime deal plans is that they are not stackable. This means you cannot combine multiple plans to increase your task limit. However, if you don't want to pay the one-time fee up front, Pabbly Connect also offers affordable monthly pricing plans. The first plan is the free plan that you can sign up for using the link in the description. The free plan includes 100 tasks every month. The monthly pricing for the standard plan starts at $14 per month, which includes 12,000 tasks per month. This plan offers all the features available in higher plans, ensuring you get full functionality without needing to upgrade. This makes it easy to start with Pabbly Connect and scale as your automation needs grow. The next plan is the Pro plan starting at $29 per month. This plan offers 24,000 tasks every month with unlimited workflows and team members. Lastly, there is the Ultimate plan starting at $59 per month. This plan offers 50,000 tasks every month and all of the features that Pabbly Connect has to offer. In summary, Pabbly Connect offers a comprehensive and cost-effective solution for automating your workflows. Don't forget to click the link in the description to try Pabbly Connect for free. If you have any questions or need further information about Pabbly Connect, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.